I have the ant, so I suppose you've not eaten. On Christmas Eve, no one should go hungry. It is Christmas Eve. I didn't know. Stay right where you are. Okay. Who speaks English? I must have speak and understand well enough, Monsieur. So, the guy with the French guy is American. I do not know him. Holy, you stay right where you are, both of you. Please, I only wish to tell you. You don't need to tell me anything until I look around. I'm 18 and I think you're not much older yourself. True, but I'm a soldier in the German army. Will you be quiet about the German army? Trick by a female. And allow your ear on a little holiday. You cannot speak to me like this. Shut up. I think you're both forgetting. I'm the one with the gun on you. Now, who are you and what's going on here? I am Jacqueline Belay and I live here. This is my home and I would like everyone to sit down now. Oh, uh, you don't make rules for me. How long have you been collaborating with the Nazis? She was not collaborating. The soldier came in here just as you do. Since it's Christmas Eve, I was giving him something to eat. Christmas Eve? Already? Yes, and since this is my home, we'll all sit down now. Right. That's what we're going to do. I'll sit down. Don't forget, guns don't have rules of etiquette. In fact, this gun has the first and last word here. I was just about to cut the bread. Of course, this awful pain noir is all we can get, but the cheese is good. Got any vehicles around here? No, sir. We still use horse and wagon on the farm. Okay. You stay here with me. I need some provisions for the road and a blanket and some kind of transport. Got that straight? What do you have in mind? A fancy carriage? It doesn't have to be fancy. That's lucky. Whatever goes the fastest. That's up to you, Monsieur, since you'll be pulling it yourself. Listen, well, I haven't slept in over a week. I've been walking for days, puking my guts on the side of the road. If you're not chummy with the enemy, and that better be true, I suggest you remember who your friends are. Of course, and it would be a lot easier if you wouldn't speak to me this way. I'm sorry, but I need your fastest horse. Will you just listen? I assume you've got something out in the barn that's got legs. So whatever it is, just pull my hack and I'll make the best time I can. Does someone want to tell me it's funny? You know, to me, this war isn't a joke. I suppose I smile because I'm too tired even to feel much fear anymore. I'm so tired of being hungry and alone and I'm so very tired of this war. So when on one night, Christmas Eve, I try to pretend a little happiness, what am I getting you to? So I suppose a little smile as, as was forgivable as I pictured you being pulled through the countryside by two skinny little hens. I thought you said you had horses. Not since the soldiers came. Luckily, they overlooked a few uh, hens and a cat. How sad the most beautiful holy night. You're both separated from your troops. Lost in the... No, I wasn't lost. No, not lost. They know where I am. They will be here very soon. Are they ready for a little skirmish? Because my guys will be here any minute. Yeah, that is why you were so eager to get away. Shut up, okay? What the heck are you doing? These were made by my grandfather, each one carved by hand. Very nice. Each year during Advent, we're allowed to place one thing in the costume for each good deed we do. You see, we do it this way. Blessed Mary, I know tonight is hard for you. But do not be afraid. The sheep will keep a new baby warm and wise men are on their way. The sheep is from me, Jacqueline Belay. Earned by saying her prayers last night, though she was very, very tired. And this is from Monsieur. Your name? I am called Arnold Schultz. That's a good crowd name. His good deed is. Don't worry, you can use the same as mine. He was also very tired last night, Marie, but I know he said his prayers. And this is from. Monsieur, Mary is waiting. 
Miller. I need Miller. Miller? Ha. You have a good crowd name yourself. Miller's an American as apple pie. Oh, to be sure, Air Miller. So, did it reach a nerve? You are a traitor fighting against your own blood. My grandfather came to the USA a long time ago, and that makes me 100% American. So you say anything like that again, and you'll be spit your teeth. Understand? Stop! You will not be enemies in this house. Not be enemies. That is foolish, Fraulein. He has a gun, and he is in no position to take prisoner. So as soon as it pleases him, he will shoot me, and he will enjoy it. You have heard, perhaps, how the Americans kept bombing the south of France, even when there was no further need except to enjoy the destruction. I never heard stuff like that. But I can't tell you what I have heard. Germans annihilating everyone in sight over their beauty. I wish you could meet my friend Swab. He says that war makes all people, every side, commit, commit unspeakable atrocities. And I believe he's right. Both of you, stop playing the enemy rules, not on this night, not on Christmas Eve. Tonight you will not be enemies. So we will have some presents of a Christmas Eve supper, and we will go peacefully. Uh, when I was a little kid, my mom, our mom let us paint pine colors for Christmas Eve. My bad was the silver radiator paint. We almost passed out from those fumes. But we thought our little tiny little silver cones were good enough for John D. Rockefeller. Kids don't do stuff like that anymore. They got things like you buy in the stores. I barely know what it is like to be clean and civilized anymore. I barely know what it is. Knowing what real it is anymore. Just I barely know what it's like to say things like bitte and danke. To sit on a toilet seat, to wear clothes that come crawling with lice, to have food and eat it with a fork. Over here, your hands are always going to blood and milk. I will get them in for our Christmas supper. He didn't shoot me. He could have, you know, and he didn't. He was screwing at me under my head. Here, take a little of this. nourished today by potato skins. Potato skins and maggots that I stole from a farmer's pig. I was lucky enough yesterday to be to have found a packet of cabbage soup and some chocolate on the body of a dead soldier. Such things no longer make me shudder. I'm sorry, man. I thought you made room for it. I guess I could have blamed you. There might be an important bump there. But, uh, but a strip of cloth and some water might help. Carlisle? I hope it will be soon. You will be raising horses with your family in the mountains soon.
or Christmas supper. Only cows want to touch both meat strings, and the cheese is good. It is a handsome Christmas, uh, Christmas supper. You are a good person, Jacqueline. Peace to you, Eddie Miller, on this night and forevermore. Peace be with you, Arnold Schultz, on this night and forevermore. Peace to you. Peace to you, Eddie. Same here, Arnold. The stars are out. I remember we used to walk to the village for mass. So excited to be up at midnight. Papa would bring the wagon for the ride home, and Mama would tuck us under a big scratchy blanket. And then when we got home, they would put up a tree to decorate it, prepare a while to decorate it when you came to go to the shoes. My first memory of a piece of chocolate, or a little piece of candy, was from a little brown shoe. A fancy chocolate that Santa left. Advent was the only time of year that I had any power over my brother Gunter. He was afraid that if I told him he would be naughty, then Santa would use a switch. And what not do you put out your shoes in America? I don't understand what you're talking about. You know, so Paranormal can sell them on his little suit that he's been in this way. I believe in America you put them on your windowsill. Oh, you mean hang up my stocking. <laughs> You're serious. I'm sorry to say this, but doesn't Paranoia allow to see a stocking on the windowsill? Um, Fraulein, you do not still allow. Uh... Of course not. I discovered the truth last year when my, my shoe was empty. <laughs> in Germany. There's been so little money for so many years. My grandmother says that the world has been bleeding us, making us pay reparation when we have no food and no work. Some of our children may die. That is, until Hitler came along and put us back on our feet. My family was luckier than most. My father, a surgeon, as I will also be, he, used, he teased his mother about putting a, a sign up in the window with little blinking lights that say, Schultz and Sun Surgeons, on Mama Schultz on the piano. But that must wait until God decides it is time for us to win this war. I'm sure Eddie Miller believes just as strongly that God is on his side, so perhaps we shouldn't make it part of such a conversation. After the war is over, Francois and I will be married. His parents are waiting for us to take over the farm. Now we have four little boys there. Each one named Francois. As soon as this war is over, I'm going to move into the house with my wife Dottie. We're going to raise kids and horses there. So, before we shipped out, I gave her a diamond. I'm going to get another one, a bigger one, for her first anniversary. I'm going to want this one, Jack.